a surefire approach to increasing the value of your course is to allow your students to obtain and download a certificate of completion after finishing it. And if you can even add a QR code to it so that anyone with a smartphone can verify its authenticity, well then that just deserves a massive thumbs up. Okay, so let's actually see how we can set up these two different things using Thrive Apprentice. Hi everyone, I'm Tony Lewis and I speak about online business building here at Thrive Themes. Now, if you are an entrepreneur, if you're trying to get started with your online course, if you're trying to build up an online business, please do consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Now, there's only one thing that you really need in order to follow along this tutorial, which is a Thrive Apprentice course. You don't have to have it finished. Just open up a course, create a new one, open up an old one that you may have already created, and let's actually dive inside Thrive Apprentice. All right, everyone. So I've opened up my Thrive Apprentice course. It is a copywriting mastery course that Brad created. And I'm going to navigate inside my course completion tab. This is a new tab that we just introduced. And there's two different things that we can do inside this tab. The first thing that we can do is customize the course completion behavior. Now, what happens when someone completes your course? Let's say that someone navigates to that very last lesson inside your course. What's the behavior going to look like once they've actually clicked on that lesson completed? What happens then? We've rolled out inside Thrive Apprentice a new course completion page that you can completely customize down to the pixel. And that page is going to allow you to offer a more personalized message to your customers. And so now every time your Thrive Apprentice customers complete that last lesson inside your course, they can either be redirected to your Thrive Apprentice course completion page or you can just redirect them to a custom page of your own. Now we're gonna get back to the course completion page in a second, but let's actually navigate now over to certificates. The second thing that we can do inside our course completion tab is actually activate the option to issue course completion certificates. So let's actually do that. Let's open up the page with Thrive Architect. And as you can see, I already have a certificate loaded up for this course. It is a one of our native templates, which I'm about to show you. But I want you to understand that these uh, certificates are completely 100% made up of uh, Thrive Architect visual elements, which means that they are completely customizable down to the pixel. Now, there are some widgets that you may find are missing um, from your uh, right toolbar. Now, I want you to understand that this is technically a certificate. So there are some Thrive Architect widgets that are not gonna show up because of course it wouldn't make sense, for example, to stick a video inside a certificate. If you're gonna print out a certificate, um, you're obviously not going to be able to uh, display a video on them, but this is still completely customizable down to the uh, very last pixel. For example, we could technically speaking, answer columns um, in you know, whatever shape or form we wished uh, let's just say that we stick to a two column layout and we can move things around however we wish, just like you would do inside Thrive Architect, okay? And the actual visual editor, it is 100% Thrive Architect in pure essence. Now, the really cool thing is that um, you can actually not spend a lot of time customizing certificates if you don't wish to. Um, we have a lot of very different um, templates, whether they're portrait, landscape, and they are completely beautiful. Let's just pick one, for example, this one is portrait mode and it looks kind of cool. So let's actually use this one. And as you can see, this is obviously still making use of Thrive Architect elements. I can probably just change this to say Thrive Architect or something like that. Um, make use of dynamic text like the um, student name. Here, as you can see, Thrive Apprentice is automatically inserting dynamic text with the name of the certificate recipient. So we don't have to spend too much time doing that. We have our QR code here that we can get rid of if we don't want to use a QR code. We could technically speaking, insert it somewhere else if we wanted to and completely customize this however we wished. Okay, so now that you've actually customized your certificate and you have one that you like and you're happy with the design, you've customized it using Thrive Architect, what happens next? Well, now we need an option for our students to actually download the certificates, which is why we need to go back now to the apprentice course completion page. So I'm back in the back end of my course inside the course completion tab. And now I'm simply going to open up my um, course completion page using Thrive Architect. 
Now, your course certificate completion page is actually a page that comes as a predefined template inside your school theme. So we're gonna have to make some edits to the actual uh, theme template before we can start inserting content inside Thrive Architect. Cool, so as you can see, I've got a top section here for my um, completion page. I probably don't want this anymore. I mean, my completion page is probably going to be a page that's gonna you know, be made up of a big call to action that says, hey, congratulations. Um, here are your next steps to becoming an even more professional at whatever it is that you're an expert at. So I'm going to get rid of this top section. And this text is actually going to say, congratulations. And let's just say Tony. And let's actually select Tony. And I'm going to make this the user data. And I'm going to pick the WordPress user first name. Great. So this is going to show up and say, congratulations, Tony. And here, as you can see, we've got our main content box that says, hey, congratulations. Let's actually change this to download, download your certificate and check this out. So here we've got two call to actions. The first one is to, uh, a button to actually download the certificate. And uh, then we have another button that simply takes people to the course overview page. Now, this button, you can technically insert anywhere you want. Um, Thrive Apprentice actually has some dynamic behavior here that will allow your students to um, download the certificate. So here I've inserted a button, as you can see, and I have the button link be a dynamic button. And I'm using Thrive Apprentice uh, behavioral rules to pull in the download certificate link. And I'm going to hit save work. All right, let's actually preview what this page looks like. Cool. So here I have my main call to action. Congratulations, Tony. And I have my main two, my, my two main buttons here, one that says download certificate. If I actually click on this button, it downloads my certificate as a PDF. Look at that. This is completely beautiful with my QR code. And I can just download this and print it and hang it on my wall. And it is super nice and pretty. All right, now let's actually talk about the QR code. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, the QR code is a great way for someone to just grab their smartphone and verify that your certificate is real and that it's not fake and that you haven't just Photoshopped something. Um, the behavior is going to look something like this. I'm gonna pull up my phone, I'm gonna scan the QR code, and that's going to take me to a, a page on uh, you know Brad's website, which is the course creator, where it's gonna say, okay, this is a legitimate um, certificate. It was created on this day, and this person completed the course on such and such date. Let's actually see what that looks like on the back end of Thrive Apprentice. Awesome. So I'm back in the back end of my course and I'm going to navigate over to my settings tab. Now, as you can see, we've got a new option in here that says enable certificate verification. Once you activate the option, you're going to be able to edit the WordPress page where people get taken to once they scan the QR code. So let's actually open up the page and see what that looks like. Great. So step one is that Thrive Apprentice is actually prompting me to verify the certificate. Now, I need my certificate number. If we open up the PDF again, here you can see how if I scroll down to the bottom of my certificate, I actually have a certificate number. That is my unique certificate number that I can enter in my certificate verification uh, process to verify whether the certificate is uh, legitimate or not. So I'm going to actually copy the number and paste it in. All right, and now that I've pasted it in, when I click verify, take a look at how Thrive Apprentice is breaking down my certificate. It has a number, it has the recipient name, in this case, it's my, my name, um, the course name that I completed and when I completed the course. This certificate is valid. That is just awesome. And that's how simple it is to actually implement certificates and verifications inside your Thrive Apprentice course. Like I said, it is a surefire way of adding value to your course. People are going to be able to actually show off that they are experts at whatever it is that you're teaching, which is amazing and incredible um, added value. Now, real quick before you go, 
There is a link down below in the description box. If you click on it, it's going to take you to our website where you can learn more about Thrive Apprentice, Thrive Suite, and all of the conversion-focused tools that we build here at Thrive Themes. If you're interested in building an online business, if you're interested in building an online course, be sure to check it out. If you got any questions, I'm going to be down below in the comment section responding any questions, any inquiries. So be sure to say hi down in the comment section. I'm Tony Lewis, and I will see you guys very soon. Thank you.